Miranda with Recipe.com and today I'm going to show you how to make bagels. Now the secret to that classic chewy bagel is to both broil and boil them before baking. I promise all those extra steps are worth it because you are going to love the bagels that we're making today. So I have our ingredients all laid out here, let's get started. We have four and a quarter cups of bread flour. We have one and a half cups of warm water, a quarter cup of semolina or cornmeal, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one package of active yeast. So we're going to start this large mixing bowl. We are going to add two cups of our flour. So let's just mix it. Let's just portion out two cups of our flour here. Okay, and we're going to add in the yeast. Now this cornmeal, I'm using cornmeal today, that's just gonna stay to the side. Um, that's for, for a baking prep step later on, so we're not actually going to cook with that yet. So I'm just gonna toss these together. All right, now add in the sugar, the salt, and using a hand mixer, definitely recommend um, on like low to medium. We're going to mix in the water. Okay. So we're just going to mix this for just about 30 seconds. Then we're going to put it up to high and beat it for three minutes on high speed. And we'll come back when we're all done three minutes in. Okay. So Let's set this to the side, and now we are going to stir in as much flour as we can just using this wooden spoon. We're most likely going to have some left over. We probably won't be able to mix it all in, but let's check it out and see how we're doing. So let's just start slowly, mix it in, just really try to incorporate everything on the sides. All right, so now what we're going to do. This is my surface that I'm going to lightly flour. So you want to flour a surface because we are going to need some dough. All right. Perfect. Okay, so let's turn this out. And we are going to add in the remaining flour kind of as we go, as we're working it. So keep on keeping on. And what we're going to do is knead this for about six to eight minutes until it makes a nice kind of firm, like elastic ball of dough. So just keep on kneading for six to eight minutes and we'll come back then and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we've been kneading away um, for about six minutes and the finished product looks like this. So it's, you know, a little bit like stiff, um, smooth. Um, and like a little bit elastic, that's what you're looking for. So it looks pretty great. Good job guys, good job kneading. So now what we're going to do is divide this into 12 equal portions. So I'm going to first just, you know, divide it in half. Then three, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna make 12 equal um, little portions and we'll come back as soon as we've done that and I'll tell you what to do next. So I have my 12 equal portions. We're just gonna roll these each now into like nice, smooth, little round dough balls here. So just smooth these all together. And then what we're going to do is let them sit covered. I'm just gonna let them sit right here on this cutting board. Um, and I'm gonna place a slightly damp towel, slightly, 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 um, which just helps them to rise. And let them rise covered for about 10 minutes. And then after we do that, we will come on back to the next step. Lots of steps here, but totally worth it for these chewy, soft bagels. Okay, so our bagels have been covered, and look at them. Yay, they rose! Um, so we're gonna work quickly now, and we are just going to punch a hole in the middle, so you can do that just with a forefinger and thumb, and we are going to shape about two inches. Just like that. We are making bagels. And I'm gonna place this, I have a lightly greased baking sheet here. So I'm gonna work as fast as I can because I am going to let these cover again for 20 minutes. 
but I'm starting that timing for when I put that first bagel down. So check your clock, and in 20 minutes, these are gonna be good to go and move on to the next step. Okay, so we're back. It's been 20 minutes. Check out our beautiful bagels. They've risen even more. They look so yummy, delicious. So the next step is we're actually going to broil these. So I have my broiler preheated. Also over here, I have a 12 inch skillet with six cups of water that I'm gonna bring to a boil because after we broil, we will boil. So my broiler is preheated. I have the rack about five inches um, from the broiler. We are going to broil these three to four minutes turning once. We don't want the tops to get brown. So I'm gonna stick these into the broiler. This is gonna come to a boil and we'll come back in three to four minutes. Okay, so our bagels are out from the broiler. I've turned the broiler off and now preheated the oven to 375. So let's lower six of our bagels into the skillet that I have with boiling water, with the six cups of boiling water. So place these six in here. So we're gonna reduce now to just a simmer. And we are gonna let these simmer in here uncovered for seven minutes, I will turn it once. And I'll come back when this first batch is all done. Okay, so my first batch of bagels is done. It's been seven minutes, I turned them once. So using a slotted spatula, we're gonna pull them out of the pan and set them here on these paper towels. Okay, they're looking beautiful and puffy and soft. This is very, very exciting. Of course you could go to the bakery, but making your own bagels like this is so much fun. All right, now I'm gonna lower my remaining bagels into the pan and continue the process. So these will cook for seven minutes total. I'll turn once and then we will come back and we'll be ready to put them in the oven. Okay, so we are finished boiling our bagels. I have them here um, on the paper towels and we are ready for our final step, which is to bake. So this is when our cornmeal comes in handy or semolina if that's what you chose to use. We're gonna sprinkle our clean, ungreased baking sheets um, with the cornmeal or semolina. So I'm using two just because I wanna give them plenty of space to, you know, hang out and get a little bit bigger and just want to give them plenty of real estate and they'll just also fit evenly into the oven this way. So just pour this on top. I just want to make sure I'm doing it evenly between the two. Perfect. Just give it a little shake. Okay. Great. Now we're going to place these on the baking sheets, and then we're just gonna pop them in the oven for 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. Then we're gonna take them out, let them cool in a wire rack, and we are ready to eat our bagels. Okay, so my bagels cooked. Look how beautiful golden brown they got. I let them cool in a wire rack before plating them, but here they are. We have you know, the wonderful little dusting of the cornmeal on the bottom. They are so soft, so chewy. These would be perfect for a special occasion, a brunch, or frankly, just to have for yourself. If you wanna make these ahead of time for an event, you would simply cool them as I'm doing now. Pop them into an airtight container and they can stay in the freezer for up to two weeks. Then just thaw them at room temperature for about two hours before serving. And there you go, you did it. That's how you make super tasty, delicious homemade bagels. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.